Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. All right, so let's take a look at how we can add in a character. So we now have, well, a trigger box, which we can basically trigger any kind of dialogue here, but oftentimes you probably want to add in a character. So let's go to our blueprints here. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate our character here and we're just gonna call this NPC, okay? And then let's hop into our NPC and just simply delete everything because we don't need any of that uh, here and, and well we can go and compile and save it if we want uh, so in this NPC though we do want to add in the dialogue okay so we got dialogue remember this is a local variable so you can have multiple local variables um, and of course you want this to be a dialogue there we go and that's good there so Let's go and let's drag this NPC character out here and we can set it up like so. And if we just click on the NPC again, uh, we should, oh yes, that's right. We need to make sure that, that uh, we can see uh, that dialogue here and it should be up here and we'll just do the test dialogue here. Okay. so. Well, of course you can play it nothing happens because we didn't really set anything up okay so let's hop into the capsule component here and this is where things get a little bit uh, interesting so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this begin overlap and of course what are we gonna overlap cast to third person character all right so in that third person character here and it's basically, um, it's basically, if we go back to the trigger box here, it's, it's basically the same thing here. Uh, we need to, uh, well, we can honestly just copy this here. Okay. Uh, and doesn't look like it's worked, so nevertheless, we'll just cast to third person game mode, get game mode. And then we're going to start dialogue. And of course, we're going to drag out said dialogue here. All right, let's go ahead and compile it. And I think that should be it, right? So boom, not quite. So let's see what, what went wrong here. So if we kind of go back here, get begin overlap collision. And yeah, all that should work. Right, and then just to make sure that this, uh, you know, if we go back uh, into the dialogue here, we go to the trigger box. I, this is still working, right? Aha. So, yeah, so it is still working here, and of course, that uh, dialogue uh, isn't exactly. Uh, we'll, I'll just delete that here. Uh, but let's take a look. So we got the other actor uh, begin overlap, and then sometimes uh, the mesh, you know, um, and I, yeah, the, the the capsule component uh, isn't bad, but maybe we do this uh, hit capsule component instead. Maybe that will trigger it off, and there we go. Okay, now there is a problem, and I already know about this problem here, right? So what was up with that? What? Bye. You have to click multiple times. Well, this is a this is kind of a problem with when you do this particular um, one here. That's because when the begin overlap um, is uh, when when you do the begin overlap, it's a lot uh, it's a lot more foolproof. So what we need to do here is we need to add in a do once. Okay, and this is you know we can kind of add that in here and then once this is all done we need to start go back to reset here and then if we do this here 
you still see we have that problem here. So let's go ahead and let's add in the start closed. And you can see uh, that that didn't quite work the way we wanted it to. And yes, so um, so now that we have the MPC here, what we have to do, and this is kind of silly, we need to add in a delay. And this is kind of one of those things, uh, and I believe the delay already does the reset here. And one thing I like to do is put the uh, up here. So I think I think that will work. Yeah. There we go. And let's try that again. Um, almost, almost. So uh, we need to just essentially do this once here. And then I'm actually going to add in the delay to be a little bit more, uh, like one second. Uh, or actually, I'll make it a little bit uh, more here, or a little bit less, so 0 0.01. And there we go. And that didn't work. OK, so I think it needs to be a little bit more, not less. OK, and you can see, there we go. Now, why do I need to do that? Probably, why do I need to add in a delay? Okay, so the reason is is the reason why this bug is happening altogether, or in the first place, is that when you when you hit a component, it's reading multiple hits. Okay, and it you, and this is this is a good thing because you know so if you've ever played a game where you shoot a projectile and it looks like it hits the player but it doesn't register. Um, sometimes they, they do that. They register multiple hits just to make sure it's done. So this do once, make sure that it's done once. And we need to add in that delay so that we don't, we make sure that that, that hit isn't there, right? So there we go. We basically have all of that here. And by the way, uh, if I just kind of pull in this uh, dialog trigger here and we go to this trigger box here and just set up the test dialog, right? Uh, we can go this here, buy, and then we go to this here, right? And you can we can just basically do both of those things. So as you can see, this is looking pretty good, um, and um, and you can see that now you can have not only the trigger box there, as well as you can have an NPC to talk to. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.